Well, I intend to tell the truth. I have told the truth through this entire proceeding, uh, and I will prove that in a court of law. How strong are you going to ask the president, president for a pardon? Uh, I am one of his oldest friends. I am a, uh, a fervent supporter of the president. I think he is doing a great job of making America great again. Roger, did anyone tell you to contact in the Trump campaign to contact WikiLeaks? Uh, no, I've addressed that before. That is incorrect. Well, when you look at the indictment, it suggests that if you're convicted, you think the president held hard in you? Pardon me? If you, if you were convicted, you think the president would pardon you? The only person I have advocated a pardon for is Marcus Garvey. You can help the prosecutor to answer his question. I will address those questions next week in Washington, D.C. Roger, Roger. Thank you. If you didn't do nothing wrong, what do you think you hear? It's your turn in the You see Roger Stone now stepping back toward the courthouse after just speaking to reporters outside the courthouse in Florida. I mistakenly called this an arraignment earlier. He will be arraigned in D.C. next week. This is his initial appearance after being indicted this morning by the special counsel. If you were watching the entirety of that, there you see it again. A Nixonian salute from a man whose dirty tricks in politics goes back to the Nixon years in American politics. Uh, Roger Stone denying emphatically the charges. He said he has not had a chance to read the indictment. He says he will not testify against the president because doing so, Roger Stone's words, would require him to bear false witness, meaning to lie about the president. Um, what else did we learn? I don't think, I mean, we learned that he's going to fight back, that he's going <laughs> to keep talking. I mean, he, they, they showed up at his house this morning before dawn <laughs> in part because of the way that Roger Stone has conducted himself throughout this while knowing essentially that he was under investigation. But I was talking to, you know, Roger Stone's friends uh, in the last couple of days and they said they've watched what happened, that Roger Stone has watched what happened to Paul Manafort and he does not want the same thing to happen to him. He says he looks at what happened to <clears throat> Paul Manafort, former Trump campaign chairman who's been convicted on a number of charges. Also a former business partner of Roger Stone. a former Stone business partner of Roger Stone and says Manafort's reputation has been smashed to smithereens and so I'm going to go out there every day and I'm going to fight. I'm going to go on TV, I'm going to go on InfoWars, I'm going to write for the Daily Caller. And I think this tells you that he's going to continue that same approach now that they've officially brought these charges together.